Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I have a different Okay, if you would quiet down, we'll get started. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Smithley, staff, faculty, students, parents. Welcome to our 10th annual National Geographic for Geography Day. I am especially pleased to moderate this academic challenge which, as a social studies teacher, you know is dear to my heart. Earlier in December and January, the fourth through eighth grades participated in classroom competitions. The students each tried to answer seven questions that covered the United States, continents, and countries around the world. The, con the questions began more easily and they progressed to really very, very difficult. For example, a round one question would be something like this. Hurricanes have caused widespread damage in which state, Texas, or Iowa? Who's going to say no the right answer? Michael? And it was Texas, so you had a choice. And they continue to questions like this. Bengali is the official language of a densely populated country bordering India where over 70% of the population lives in rural areas named this country. Yeah. And show sticks? Bangladesh. And it was Bangladesh. Oh. At this point, I am pleased to announce the classroom winners of this contest. Um, contestants, as I call your name, please come to the front. Representing the fourth grade, Adrian Gubler and Connor Mahoney. <laughs> Representing the fifth grade, Alex Paulius and John Wright. <laughs> Representing the sixth grade, Audrey Kellogg and Courtney Kendrick. <laughs> Representing the seventh grade, Jake Murphy and Dylan says a quiz. And representing the eighth grade, Devin Keeley and John Okay, um, the National Geographic changed the rules a little bit this year to make it more comfortable for our contestants if they do progress to the state level. Um, so what they have asked is that the students pull a number and then we'll be in that order. So that is what we're going to do now. I'm going to ask these contestants to pull a number and as you pull it, we start with number one on this end and go to number 10 on that end. So then you'll need to sit in the mixed group instead of being by grades, okay? to get the names 
um, written down in the order that they are now. Questions will start with Devin and proceed to John each time. We'll always start with the same person. I'm going to read to you now the rules of the competition, so if you could listen. But however, the most important part is for the audience to remember that you need to be absolutely quiet while I ask questions to the people on the stage. They need to be able to hear, okay? they need to be able to think, and there isn't even any whispering, right? because you'd be amazed at how far sounds travel when there's quiet, so that I can't have somebody whispering they think they know, an answer that they think they know and somebody on the stage hearing that would disqualify them, okay, or disqualify that question. I need mean, some need your cooperation. Thank you. Okay. Um, the final competition consists of a final round, that's what we're starting now, and a championship round. The final round questions will reduce the number of contestants to two. Those two finalists will then compete in the championship round. In the final round, a contestant is eliminated after answering two questions incorrectly. I will begin each series of questions with the same student. If the student has been eliminated, questioning will begin with the next available student. After each student on stage has responded to a question in a series, those who gave their second incorrect answer will be excused from the stage unless everyone was eliminated on that question and then everybody stays. Um, final round questions. I'm sorry. Okay. We will continue with final round questions until two finalists and the third place winner have been identified. If only one student remains after a series of questions, that student automatically becomes one of the finalists and will be asked no more questions. Those students who gave their second incorrect answer during this series will continue to receive questions until the final, second finalist and third place winner are determined. The procedures change for the championship round, and I will announce it at that point. Okay, so we'll get a little break in between. Um, as far as National Geographic is concerned, they recognize only four oceans, the Arctic, the Atlantic, the Indian, and the Pacific. Shortened forms of country names are acceptable, such as United Kingdom, Great Britain, or Britain, for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. However, we do not use the word England, and we do not use the word Holland to represent Netherlands. So you would need to say Netherlands, and you would need to say United Kingdom, Great Britain, whatever. The rulings of the judges are final. Okay. Ready to begin? Okay. In this first set of questions, I will repeat each question two times. The contestants will give an oral answer. Each student will be asked their own individual question, and we will go from one to the other. At the end of the round, nobody will leave, obviously, because this is the first question. But the judges will just keep track and tally of what's going on. As again, I will read each question twice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The Kissimmee River flows into Lake Oshkobi in which state that borders the Gulf of Mexico? The Kissimmee River flows into Lake Oshkobi in what state that borders the Gulf of Mexico? It is not Louisiana, it is Florida. Courtney. Atlantic City, known for its boardwalk and casinos, is located in what mid-Atlantic state? Atlantic City, known for its boardwalk and casinos, is located in what mid-Atlantic state? And obviously that question would be a lot harder for somebody who lives in California. Okay, okay. Connor. Crater Lake National Park is located near Kalmath Falls in which United States state? Crater Lake National Park is located near Kalmath Falls in which U.S. state? It is not. It is Oregon. Okay. 
Lake George is a glacial lake located north of the city of Troy, near the border between Vermont and what other state? Lake George is a glacial lake located north of the city of Troy, near the border between Vermont and what other state? It is not New Hampshire, it is New York. John. Glacier National Park, which straddles the Continental Divide, is located along the Canadian border in which U.S. state? Glacier National Park, which straddles the Continental Divide, is located along the Canadian border in which U.S. state? It is not in Montana. Budget. Which U.S. state that borders Lake Erie was first established as a Quaker colony. Which U.S. state that borders Lake Erie was first established as a Quaker colony? It is Pennsylvania. <coughs> Alex. The Santa Lucia Range stretches southeast from Monterey in which Pacific state? The Santa Lucia Range stretches southeast from Monterey in which Pacific state? No, it is California. Okay. The city of Green Bay is located on an arm of Lake Michigan in which U.S. state? The city of Green Bay is located on an arm of Lake Michigan in which U.S. state? No, it is Wisconsin. Okay, Dylan. The Great Dismal Swamp is a marshy area that stretches from Virginia south into what other state? The Great Dismal Swamp is a marshy area that stretches from Virginia south into what other state? It is North Carolina. And John. Big Bend National Park is located along the Mexican border in which U.S. state? Big Bend National Park is located along the Mexican border in which U.S. state? It is Texas. Hey, congratulations. And my tabulators for Cooper keeping track. Okay. All of you are going to respond to the next question by writing an answer on the paper provided for you. So please take a piece of paper and have your sharpie ready. You will have 15 seconds to write your answer. When I call time, please put down your markers and hold up your answers. When I call on you, please read your answer out loud and continue to hold it up. You will not be penalized for inaccurate pronunciations or misspellings as long as we can figure out what it is you are trying to say. I will give the correct answer after all answers have been given. Please keep your answers visible until the scorekeeper has recorded the scores. I will read this question twice, so you may not ask for another repeat. Okay, the next question is, Hoover Dam, which supplies water and power to parts of Arizona, Nevada, and California, is located on what river? Hoover Dam which supplies water and power to parts of Arizona, Nevada, and California, is located on what river? You have 15 seconds. Please hold up your hands. 
Okay, Devin. And Courtney. And uh, um, Connor. Adrian. Okay, John. Okay, or Audrey. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Okay, Jake. Lily. And John. Okay. Colorado River is correct. Okay, so. Yes, those of you with Colorado who had Colorado a little bit higher. Okay. And Dylan has let us know that yes, he did say South Carolina at that time, so he has one right and one wrong. But at this point, I'm going to ask Devin and Connor and Adrian and John Riccardi and Jake to come on down and join in classes while we continue with the rest of the competition. Okay. 
by June. You may look at your map. Which state that borders Iowa has freshwater withdrawals of less than 2,000 million gallons per day? Which state that borders Iowa had freshwater withdrawals of less than 2,000 million gallons per day? No, I'm sorry, it's not Kentucky, it's South Dakota. <laughs> Your question is, which state bordering the Pacific Ocean had the highest freshwater withdrawals? Which state bordering the Pacific Ocean had the highest freshwater withdrawals? It is California. Hey, okay, Dylan, pick up your map. Your question is, which state bordering New Jersey had the highest freshwater withdrawals? Which state bordering New Jersey had the highest freshwater withdrawals? New York is correct. Okay, and John, please pick up your mic. Your question? Which state that borders Nevada had freshwater withdrawals of 10,000 to 19,999 million gallons per day? Which state that borders Nevada had freshwater withdrawals of 10,000 to 19,999 million gallons of water per day? It is Idaho. Good job. And at this point, Audrey, I'm going to ask you to come down and join your class. Thank you very much for participating. by writing your answer. You can use a clean sheet of paper okay, and have your Sharpie ready. When I call time, put down your markers and hold up your answers. As before, I will wait to give the correct answer until all of the answers have been given. I will repeat the question twice so you may not ask for another repeat. The question is, Polynesia, a region that includes the island countries of Samoa and Tonga is located in what ocean? Polynesia, a region that includes the island countries of Samoa and Tonga, is located in what ocean? is the Pacific Ocean. Okay, those of you who have the Pacific Ocean, keep your things up. Okay? Pacific is the right Okay, so
So at this point, I'm going to ask. You will have 15 seconds to answer the question. Um, at this stage, the three contestants who are on the stage each have one error. Um, the person who gets a little complicated. The next person who makes an error after, if it's only one person, when the whole round is done, that is our third person, and the other two will be in the final championship round. If two people make a mistake and one person does not, that one person will be in the final round and doesn't have to answer any more questions at all. Okay, And we will continue with the, the last two people to get them to draw a conclusion between the two. Right, okay. um, and Dylan, at this point, I'm going to ask you to move to the middle table. Thank you. So back to oral answers. And Courtney, I'm going to start with you. I will repeat, as before, each question twice, and you will have 15 seconds for your answer. Say it real loud, okay? So that I can hear. Located northeast of Concord, Lake Winnipesaukee is the largest lake in what New England state? Located northeast of Concord, Lake Winnipesaukee is the largest lake in what New England state? No. The answer is New Hampshire. Okay. Still. The Hohokam people, one of America's earliest cultures, lived along the Gia and Salt Rivers in what present day state? The Hohokam people, one of America's earliest cultures, lived along the Gia and Salt Rivers in what present day state? No, it is Arizona. Thank you. John, Mount Rainier, located southeast of Seattle, is the highest mountain in which United States state? Mount Rainier, located southeast of Seattle, is the highest mountain in what U.S. state? No, Oregon is incorrect. Okay, so we continue. Everybody gets another question. The city of Rochester was once an end for the Underground Railroad and is located on the Genesee River in which U.S. state? The city of Rochester was once an end for the Underground Railroad and is located on the Genesee River in which U.S. state? It is New York. Dylan. Harney Park located in the Black Hills, is an attraction in which state? Harney, oh, I'm sorry, I said park, it's peak, I'm sorry. Harney Peak, located in the Black Hills, is an attraction in which state? I'll repeat it one more time. Harney Peak, located in the Black Hills, is an attraction in which state? No, it's South Dakota. And John. Long's Peak is the highest peak in the Rocky Mountains, in the Rocky Mountain National Park. In which U.S. state is this? Long's Peak is the highest peak in the Rocky Mountains and part of Rocky Mountain National Park. In which U.S. state? It is Colorado. Okay. I think we have our two finalists. Dylan, congratulations for coming in third.
are going to need paper and in your chart. Whichever. Okay, congratulations to our finalists. Let's go. <laughs> They will now compete in the championship round. You will be competing with a completely clean slate. Okay? So clean slate. The championship round consists of three questions and more if we need. I will ask both of you the same question at the same time, and you will have 15 seconds to write your answers. When I call time, you'll put down your markers, hold up the answer. Then I will ask each of you, just as before, in turn to read your answer out loud. I will wait to give the correct answer until both of the, your answers have been read. Whoever correctly answers the most questions in this set of three will be the school champion. The other person will be the second place. As before, you will not be penalized for inaccurate pronunciations or spellings as long as we can determine that you know the correct answer. If there is a tie after the set of three questions, I will explain a tiebreaker procedure. I will read each question twice so you may not ask for another repeat. Listen carefully before writing your answers. Okay, for the first one, okay, ready to write? Okay. The city of Portland is the eastern end for an oil pipeline that connects with Montreal, Canada. Portland is located on Casco Bay in which New England state? The city of Portland is the eastern end for an oil pipeline that connects with Montreal, Canada. Portland is located on Casco Bay in which New England state? Okay, please hold up your answers. Martin, you said? And John, you said? Okay, the correct answer is Maine. Okay, we go on to our second question. Please be ready to write for this one. The Potomac River rises in the Allegheny Plateau and empties into what large bay? The Potomac River rises in the Allegheny Plateau and empties into what large bay? Okay. Please hold up your answers. What did you say, Courtney? Okay, and John, you said? Okay. The correct answer is the Chesapeake Bay. Okay. Let's go on to our third question. Okay. Here we go. The Takamakan Desert, home to the Uyghur people, is located north of the Kulan Mountains in which Asian country? The Takamakan Desert, home to the Uyghur people, is located in the Kulan Mountains in which Asian country? answer is China. When we look at our totals in this round, Courtney has one correct, yes, and is then our school champion. Congratulations, Courtney.